guys, guess what? MC Hammer is going to have his own reality-based TV show on A&E. Yes, I can't wait. Shoot me now. So today's video has a theme. No, it's not MC Hammer. It's body parts. Just go with me on this. In New York, a 68-year-old man named Daniel Flood is alive today based on the kindness of a relative stranger. Flood, who suffered from kidney damage, was told he either needed dialysis or a transplant in order to live. Due to his rare blood type, which was O negative, the waiting list was two to six years and none of his relatives matched. Flood's daughters, going out on a limb, decided to post an ad on Craigslist, hoping they might find somebody that would help them in this time of need. Turns out Don Verdick, a 48-year-old woman from Monterey, California, responded to the ad. She happened to be a match and she donated one of her kidneys in order to help Flood live the rest of his life. Now that is absolutely insane to me. It takes a special, insane kind of person to give somebody one of their own body parts just to help them live a few more years of life. I mean, I'd like to think I would do it because I would want somebody to do it for me, but then again, it's, it's a kidney. I really enjoy drinking and having two kidneys. I, I don't know, I guess I'm selfish like that. I guess I'd probably have to think it over. Anyway, going from the heartwarming slash mildly depressing, we go to the why in the f would you ever have a chimpanzee in your house? In Stamford, Connecticut, 70-year-old Sandra Harold looked on in horror as her 15-year-old 200-pound chimpanzee named Travis attacked her friend Charla Nash. Nash, who was 55, was attacked by the chimp, had her face ripped off, and lost a massive amount of blood. Nash was in critical condition yesterday, and Harold has no way to explain this event other than that it was a freak accident. According to her, her chimp was nothing but lovable. Now, apparently the chimpanzee was shot and killed after everything had happened. According to police, Harold had given the chimpanzee Xanax after it exhibited agitation on Monday. The chimp also had Lyme disease, and the attack appeared to be unprovoked. Holy sh a chimpanzee takes Xanax and has a disease that causes pain. And you're surprised when it rips somebody's face off? Really, I mean, come on. Don't get me wrong, this was a bad thing that happened, but common sense dictates that you don't keep a f animal that could destroy you in your house. Sure, they look cute and they do neat tricks, but they fling poo. Poo. Why would you ever want that? I have no more words for this. Moving on. Next, we have another person that makes a f***ed up mistake and winds up rich. Missing a leg, but still rich. Dustin Dribble, 25, of Brooklyn, reportedly fell off a subway platform onto the tracks in New York. After he fell off, he was struck by a train. The hit actually took his leg off right below the calf. Here's the really fun part. The guy was completely wasted. His blood alcohol content was .18, which is twice the legal driving limit. Apparently, Mr. Dribble was on his way home from a bar after watching a hockey game. Now, what really disturbs me about this entire story is that this guy won a $2.3 million settlement. A jury actually found that the transit authority was mostly to blame. The blackout drunk guy who stumbled blindly where he wasn't supposed to go only gets 35% of the blame. Come the f*** on, man. Seriously, I thought the age of idiotic lawsuits was dying down. I guess it just goes to show you. In America, you can get blackout drunk, stumble around doing stupid sh and get paid for it. Yeah, you may be disfigured horribly. You may be walking on pegs for the rest of your life, but who cares? You're rich, bitch. No, you know what? It. I'm getting on this bandwagon right now. Here's the plan. Let's keep it on the down low. I'm going to get faced. I'm going to hide in my garbage can. I'm going to wait on the curb until the garbage people come and pick me up and throw me in the back of their truck. And I can sue, right? It's a good plan, huh? Yeah? Alright. I'm on it.